build to sell versus build to rent. Now, I haven't done a few commercial to residential conversions and even just new build blocks. What I've noticed is that the smaller blocks of flats, so I've done from about four in Watford, four uh, blocks, a uh, block of, of flats to uh, coming up to 11 flats in the Wokingham Bank. And um, what I feel is in the actually built to rent sort of strategy, the yield is actually quite low. And you also end up leaving money in the deal, depending on the market where you're at. So for example, right now in the market, there's been a lot of down valuations taking place. And me personally speaking to a Rick's Chartered Surveyor have said that they have a very negative view of the property, um, property sort of economy as it were going forward. And they have been down valuing a lot of developments. So if your development does get down value from the GDV that you were expecting, you're going to end up A, leaving money in the deal and B, getting um, a low rental yield, maybe between five to seven percent, depending on, you know, all the other numbers. Now, the key thing here, guys, is obviously you can supplement the income by maybe doing a part SA and part rent scheme. Um, but what I found uh, when I was looking at renting the high wicking block of flats, which have turned out great, and the agents are very helpful in helping pushing the rents up, trying out really high rents as compared to what's in the market. Um, the um, affordability criteria that they use for renters is massively high, and maybe five or ten percent of the renters would able to be will be able to meet that affordability criteria. And we found the same in Henley. So although we were asking really good rents and they were achievable, 80% of the people who were coming through the door wanting to rent those apartments could not meet the affordability criteria, which was 30 times your salary. So uh, yeah, that's what I mean. So if the rent is thousand pounds for argument's sake, you need to have a annual base salary of 30,000 pounds. And but we were asking in excess of between five, 1,500 to 2,000 pounds per month, depending on the size of the flat. Um, a lot of people could make, make, meet that and letting agents have stringent criteria for that. So you end up having to obviously either wait for longer to rent those apartments, which means you're losing money, or B, um, rent them at a lower price if you want the money coming in quickly. So key thing, guys, is smaller built to rent schemes don't really work however with Wokingham when we did the numbers and we're doing a build to sell scheme obviously I don't know quite what the prices we're going to be able to achieve however if we time the market such that they're coming onto the market sort of late summer and uh, the rates start to drop and then hopefully there's a frenzy in the market for first-time buyers and home movers then we could really make a great profit from it so on paper obviously we've got a great um, profitability for the scheme because we wouldn't work on anything less than 25% return on cost so guys do take a look at your numbers very closely on smaller commercial to residential schemes and make sure your end game is definitely a yield play or else I think it would ideal to sell it what I've also found is with my Reading block of flats, which we built in 2019. And again, because of the Brexit market then, the prices were low, we decided to rent it. It's now coming up to the end of its five years, and therefore the rates are very high. And um, we want to sell it, but obviously the values aren't the same as what we were hoping to achieve back in 2019. Because A, they're not new build, and not, there's no new build premium on it. Uh, and B, as you know, the market is still very slow with the interest rates um, still at 5.25%. So I just thought I'd give you the information out there. Make sure you know what you're doing. Do come along to the next Titans events to meet other experienced developers like myself and others to know and to work out of the deal stacks for you. The key thing in any property business is very much working with the right team 
to help you work out your numbers best so guys do follow like and subscribe for regular property content from me and do have a look at our website team titans uk for the last event this summer thursday the 13th of june and it's all about auctions so check out the website and hope to see you at the next one thank you